Chris Williams. I'm the Director of Communication Operations of the Davis School District. As you know, this COVID-19 pandemic that we've been dealing with has affected every aspect of our lives. One of the challenging moments that we're going to be facing coming up here very shortly is the device check-in process that we're going to be implementing at each one of our schools. That's the time when parents and students bring back those devices that they borrowed from the school district uh, during this last semester. This is going to be a time where we have to wear masks and gloves. There's no doubt about it. We want to keep everyone safe, not only ourselves, but those who are visiting our schools. Because of that, we have asked one of our awesome school nurses to give us some tips on how to properly wear those masks and gloves. Your attitude may be, come on, Chris, you've got to be kidding me. Well, we want to keep everyone safe and we want to keep everyone healthy. So this is why we've put this information together for you. Again, we appreciate everything you do. We appreciate your patience, your understanding, and we are glad that you chose to be a member of the Davis School District family. Thank you. The superintendency has requested that we as nurses give you a few tips and best practices for wearing masks and gloves during the year-end pickup. Here are a few examples of masks that you shouldn't wear to the year-end pickup. If you show up at school with one of these masks, you will definitely be sent to the principal's office. We've been hearing over and over, wash your hands, wash your hands. And this applies when putting on your mask, taking your mask off, and before putting on gloves and after you have removed your gloves. If soap and water are not readily available to you, hand sanitizer will work. There are two types of masks that are acceptable for use. The first one is a disposable surgical mask, and the second is a fabric mask. I will demonstrate how to use both of these masks. When to begin, I'm going to demonstrate how to use a disposable surgical mask. I'm going to walk you through the procedure and then I will demonstrate it for you. You want to start with the white part of the mask facing you and the blue part out. You're going to um, take the elastic on either end and loop it around your ears. And then avoiding touching the middle part of the mask, you will take the top edge, which usually has a metal strip in it, Frame it to your nose and then tuck the bottom part around your chin. Before doing so, remember to wash your hands. To remove the mask, don't touch the front of the mask. Reach up and take it down with the air loops. If you're going to reuse your mask and not throw it away immediately, fold your mask with the part that was facing you to the outside. Like this. Do not leave your mask on any surface. If you're going to reuse it, immediately put it in to a breathable bag or other container per the CDC guidelines. I will demonstrate how to put the fabric mask on now. To remove the fabric mask, only touch the ties. When you have removed your fabric mask, do the same thing that you did with the disposable mask. Folding the outside portion in. and then put your fabric mask into a bag or other container. Fabric masks should be laundered in between uses. There's a new trend that suggests you can microwave your fabric mask. That would not be a good idea unless you want to burn your house down. And let's be honest, nobody has time for that right now. So please make sure that you're laundering your mask in between use. The next part of the demonstration will be putting on gloves. Thank heavens this is not rocket science because we've had a lot to learn as far as technology goes in the last few weeks. Um, it's very simple to put on the gloves, but I'm going to give you a tip that will help taking off the gloves that will help prevent spread of any germs that might be on the gloves.
Please remember before you apply your gloves to wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. To remove your gloves, and please remove your gloves if they are soiled or torn or have been contaminated in some way. That's something you'll have to kind of use some common sense with. When you go to remove your gloves, take it by the cuff and pull it inside out, doing the same with your other hand and dispose of your gloves. Even though you will be wearing masks and gloves for this event, please make sure you continue to follow the social distancing guideline of six feet distance between people.